I woke up this morning to a tweet from PancakeSwap saying that limit orders are now available on PancakeSwap because of a connection they have with the Gelato network. How exciting is that? I'm super excited, so we're gonna whip out a video real quick to talk you through how you can now start doing limit orders on PancakeSwap. Now we'll leave a link down below to PancakeSwap to make sure that we always end up at the right site, but as always, we'll go to pancakeswap.finance slash swap. And when that gets you here, you're gonna see an option here for liquidity and another option for limit orders, which is newly added to the site. Now, if you've used PancakeSwap much, you know this is very familiar, and this looks exactly like the actual exchange, except for we've got a new option right here called price. So what we're gonna to do to make this simple is we're actually gonna swap BNB here for BUSD. Okay, and you can see here I've got a little bit of each in this wallet to make it all work. And there's a couple things we need to know as we go about this. The first thing is that it probably won't work for very small orders of probably five to $10 or less in value. It's probably not gonna work out for you. The next thing to know is there are some extra fees and stuff, obviously, because we're executing contracts multiple times. But let's dive in and, and show you exactly what's happening right here. So I'm gonna select right here and say 0.02 BNB. It's gonna say, okay, that can get, you know, as always, $7 worth of BUSD at that price, and it's kind of currently sitting it at the market price, and it's telling you that right here. Now, right here, we can adjust that, and we can say, hey, I want, I want this to sell at a higher price, okay? And it's always gonna be at a higher price if we're doing these sell orders, meaning I can't go below 379 or what that current market price is, and if I try, it will probably tell me that I can't. It'll say 89% below market price, and then it won't let me make the sell. You can see right here, only possible to place sell orders above the market rate. So the market rate was 379, let's say $500 is what we're going for. I really like how it's gonna tell you, hey, that's 31% above the current market rate. That's gonna be really helpful as you start swapping currencies that aren't based in the US dollar right here. For example, if I did these two currencies, you can see right here, it's very hard for your mind to wrap around exactly what price you're actually getting since neither one of them is based in the currency that you're used to. But to make this again easy, we'll go back to BUSD right here. And we're gonna say 500 or 31% above the market price. Now, the other thing you need to know is it's gonna give you a real execution price. Okay, and you can see the real execution price is actually significantly higher. Now, the reason it's doing that on this order is because with all the fees and stuff, and I can hover over here and see, it's telling me that, because of the gas and the fees and the fact that I'm only doing this with a very small amount of US dollars and BNB, then it actually is, is quite a bit more expensive is what it's telling me. But as soon as we go beyond just doing this with tiny amounts of orders, for example, if we raised our BNB up to 0.5 BNB, even a half a BNB, or something closer to $100 down here, we would see that price be dramatically changed, that, that big difference between the actual price and the real price. So just know that if you're doing this with small amounts, one, it may not work, and two, the real execution price might actually have to be a lot higher in order for it to get you the price that you're asking for, including fees and stuff like that. Now, most of us won't have any issues with this as long as we're using uh, 50 or 100 or more than that in, in dollars. It shouldn't be a problem. So all we've got to do now, once we've selected and made everything work, is we're going to click place an order. And we've now created this limit order. Again, it's going to give you all those warnings and it's going to let you know you are going to pay gas fees for this. And there's gas fees that change a lot and they can't guarantee exactly a gas price because we don't know when this order is going to go through. We'll say yes, that's okay, this is BNB. Luckily, gas prices aren't insane anyway. We'll click close and then you'll see it's gonna show up right here that we've got an open order with a status of open waiting. We can always go right here and we can cancel the order. Again, we're gonna pay fees each time we do this. Each time we interact with this contract, we're gonna have to pay fees. But we can always go, we can leave now, we can come back and come back in a few days, go back to limit orders. And once we connect our wallet, it will see that it already has access to our wallet and it will remember this limit order that we have now set. Now, something to note, this is brand new. It just launched today, in fact. I would not do anything with large amounts of crypto because as always, there will probably be a few bugs, a few glitches, a few things to work out. I've already run into a few things like this where it says there are delays and things like that. So this is something we can start using and I imagine this will start to get better and better and have no issues or lag or anything like that as time goes on. And again, if you like tutorials like this that are simple, straightforward, flash free, go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.